welcome back to another vlog today is monday and i'm sitting at my vanity because i wanted to start this vlog um as a sit down vlog because i wanted to answer some of you guys' questions about moving i actually got approved for the apartment um that last week that i showed you guys photos of but i didn't show you video footage of and i was talking about how it was my favorite one and i really really liked it and i applied for that unit last week and i got all approved i'm actually heading downtown today to drop off my security deposit and i also have a, a photo shoot type thing for the fitum mode magazine so yeah i'm gonna be downtown for the next few hours but before i head downtown i wanted to answer some moving questions because i have been getting some and i totally understand that some of you guys are like what like why are you moving who are you moving in with blah, blah blah like all this stuff so first question is why are you moving i feel like you move all the time why are you moving again and i i kind of feel that too i have moved a significant amount of time since coming to la and it's been for different reasons and reasons that totally made sense in my life um meg and i have lived in this apartment for over a year and our lease ended they raised the rent price um of our building and we just were kind of like okay like like we are paying actually a lot of money to stay in this unit especially since they raised it and the unit that we live in is so so huge it actually is very complicated to get people in and out of the building like when friends come over or when there's deliveries and stuff like that um it's such a huge building and there's like no service in this building so people just get lost and i don't want to live in a complex that is this huge again i did like it at the start but then it just started to get a little bit just a little bit much as i said they raised our rent price and we just realized that for the amount that we are paying here we really could have something that's a little bit nicer and newer or more space or just honestly something that both of us like better than paying the money since they raised the rent to live here blah 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 our lease basically is over and we had to decide what to do at the end of our lease and um, Meg and I have been talking about it for a long time and the next question is are you and Megan living together and the answer to that is no if you haven't already figured it out by me like touring my own places and Megan is doing the same as well we both want different things right now ideally I love living with Megan like we are so good as roommates because we're sisters we live together our whole entire life we don't fight and things like that like we're very good roommates we love living together but at this point we're looking for different things like after this lease was ended we're not both looking for the same type of thing where it's like we split the rent you know 50 50 and we both have this amount of room and this amount of room like I'm looking to have more room I was actually looking at places where I could have a whole extra bedroom for like an office and just for storage because I feel like I've acquired a lot of things I've been living in LA over two years and I have a lot of things and I feel like I don't have enough room in this apartment slash I don't have enough room sharing an apartment in general and that I need my own space and i wanted to pay m like more money to have a nicer place to have more room to have a place that's like mine that i don't have to like worry about my stuff being in the common area or my stuff taking up you know room with somebody else's stuff like i just basically want to be worried about me and my stuff and megan feels the same way you know we're not looking to pay the same amount it wasn't a decision that it was like Lindsay is leaving megan or the opposite. Meg and I are on the exact same page that we both just can't live together right now because we are not looking for the same thing in, a part, in an apartment and also we're not necessarily looking in the same area either. I decided it made the most sense for me to be living downtown which is very close. It's within walking distance of my school that I'm going to be attending for the next two to three years and that's not the case for Megan. She doesn't need to be within walking distance of my school so why would she live somewhere where she might not necessarily be best or want to live so um, I'm not gonna answer any questions for Megan because she's figuring out her situation right now and she will totally update you guys when you know 
she has moving updates and things like that i'm so excited because i literally got my dream apartment my dream loft and it's gonna be my first place that is all mine and you know i'm about to be 21 in two months and i just feel like this is a very good time i feel like sometimes on youtube people kind of like to start things that literally are not there like you know start like saying oh like Lindsay left megan or something like that and legitimately megan and i could if megan was awake right now like i would bring her in here megan and i are on the same page if i was going to live with anyone it would still be my sister like maybe we'll live together in the future it's not it's not anything negative it's literally just like we are looking for different things and we we can't live together somewhere where we both would be compromising certain things that we're looking for in a new place and we realized that by living like we did you know splitting everything 50 50 equal having this amount of space and living together we realized that this year this is turning into be a long q a but i think basically the last i think the last main question was what is happening with squirtle who's taking squirtle and i will totally explain this so basically when we got squirtle that was my decision um to take squirtle off of my friend's hands that was me personally talking to my friends and saying okay like if you guys really take can't take care of him i can take him and i would love to do that it wasn't it wasn't megan's decision however megan obviously wanted squirtle she was happy about it and he is our dog but that being said squirtle is our dog but technically who owns him is me because that was my decision to get squirtle in the first place and i pay for all of squirtle th squirtle things like you know he's my child um i've bought in everything for him so he is technically my dog so <laughs> squirtle is going with me and i'm really excited and megan is gonna get to see him all the time literally whenever she wants so yeah squirtle has two mommies so megan will always be able to see him yeah i'm so excited so i think i think those are the main questions i hope you guys can respect the fact that i did open up to you and talk to you about questions because I could have easily just ignored them or I could have just not not talked to you guys about what is going on with moving but I like to have you guys knowing what's going on in my life so I really hope you can respect that I am completely honest with you guys and open with you guys and that's basically that so <laughs> this 10 minute long vlog i am gonna ready myself a little bit get dressed i'm not actually supposed to do hair and makeup they're doing my hair and makeup for the photo shoot so i won't be doing that um which is nice it's nice that i don't have to do that but i'm gonna be leaving in like five minutes i'm kind of I'm supposed to be leaving in two minutes so okay so this is what i am wearing for the day um it is this green i love this dress this is like one of my favorite dresses it's um a green florally print dress from top shop from last year and it's cool because it's like it looks like it's two pieces but it's really just one dress but it kind of looks like it's two separate pieces i'm wearing these little booties which are i think they're jeffrey campbell they're so soft they're like these light pink like suede material with buckles and then they're like a little pointy toe and i just have on like a silver bracelet from henry bendel and that's like the only accessory i did because i don't really wear many accessories but yeah so i'm gonna have my hair and makeup done and i'm heading downtown right now i will see you guys in a little bit Day, so I haven't talked to you in a while, but now I'm with Megan hey. and we are headed into So You Think You Can Dance, which I didn't even tell you guys we were going to. We're going to the taping of So You Think You Can Dance. Very excited, but I wasn't really able to film much at my shoot, but um, it went great. I had my makeup and stuff done and um, it was really casual and good and then I got Chipotle and then I drove over here in traffic and now we're here. 
Bye. So, adios. Well, hello. So, we have returned from our So You Think You Can Dance excursion. It was phenomenal as always. A little ticket right here, and then we have, this is called the, uh, what is this called? The credentials some kind of a pass but it was great we are not allowed to even like we're not even supposed to have our phones in the live shows so you're like really not allowed to record I see because it's live but Megan did like a secret snapchat and also we do tweets because um, that's why we're there we kind of like you know post tweet or post an Instagram or something and in exchange for them so letting us work. letting us go it was awesome it was the first elimination from the top 20 so now they had uh, 18 and it was so good there was so much energy and the um, state what is what is he called like the guy that pumps up the crowd basically is so funny his name is Jay and he's fantastic he's literally hilarious we also got to meet one of our favorite contestants from last Casey, Casey Askew. Casey Askew. He's so nice. He follows me on Twitter. I don't know. So I was like, hey, Casey. And I just went up and I met him and he was really sweet. How was your experience? I loved it. I love that show. I'm, I haven't watched any of it until this point, but now yeah. I'm really white. Um, I'm going to watch it now. Just the sun. It's like glaring on you. I mean, um, what the hell? I, it was like the light from the camera. And, you know, we're just pale. We're pale. We're pale people. Well, hopefully we can go back, honestly. I mean, I'm free next Monday, so. We would like to return if possible. We love it so much, it's our favorite show. Um, but yeah, now we are at Coffee Bean. We got a show. CBTL, right? CBTL is what one of my teachers calls Coffee Bean Tea Leaf. I just call it Coffee Bean, but he would be like, CBTL. <laughs> See you guys at CBTL on break. That's where I'll be. He was unreal. <laughs> but what'd you get? Um, I got an iced uh, macchiato. How is it? I don't know. It's very strong, but I put some sugar in there, nice. so it's good. I got an iced white chocolate latte, and it's pretty nice. You really hyped that up. You're like, iced white chocolate latte. So I'm laying in bed and I just got done uh, working out and then I changed into my pajamas. Um, I'm gonna start editing the vlog from today because I already have a decent amount of footage because um, of that like 10 minute intro to this vlog. So it's gonna be a long vlog today, but that is all a-okay. So yeah, um, Monday workouts kill me because they're always tons of cardio and I like I die my heart just like gets racing so fast <laughs> in all of them so Monday workouts like make me so dead afterwards glad that I did it I'm so tired I'm gonna edit this now I'm also picking up my friend Taylor from the airport in like an hour so uh, hopefully I can make a dent on this editing so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll see you uh, later on tonight. Why am I singing? Uh, Los Angeles, when you're literally in traffic at the airport trying to pick someone up. It's a beautiful thing. At midnight. Literally, this is midnight right now. But anyway, I'm picking up my friend Taylor. I'm at Terminal 2 right now. I gotta pull up to Terminal 4, so I still have a few more. I keep getting stuck at these red lights. I don't understand why this is happening. The time has come for the end of the vlog. It has been a beautiful day, truly a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and if you made it all the way to the end because I know this was a long one. Uh, this little lump moving over here, if you can see that is a squirtle. He likes to climb under the cover sometimes. And I need to turn this off because I look, I look gross. Okay, <laughs> good night you guys, I love you.